All right, so today I am going to head out to Mizumi in Queens. And this is a uh, buffet style type of uh, restaurant, which uh, also has hot pot. So it's a combination of a uh, uh, buffet and a hot pot, which is a great combination. And the menu here consists of a lot of stuff. So we'll take a quick look at this. That's snow crab legs. Has salad, has hot food, which is like uh, fried fish, seafood fried rice. So it has a very nice variety. And I think a lot of people like these sushi rolls, which has a lot of variety of sushi rolls and sashimi. And the cost of this currently right now, I believe for um, let's see, what's the price? Okay, so for dinner, it's $39.95, which is where I'm going. So it's $39.95. And if you go during the weekdays for lunch, it's $29.95. Um, so it's not real cheap, but it's also not real expensive either. And then you also get discounts for kids that are 10 years or under. Um, and the way they do it is that if you're under 5 feet, it's half price. Kids under four feet, a quarter of a price, and kids under three feet are not charged at all. My question is, what if you're an adult and you're under three feet? Do you still get charged? It's a question to be asked. All right, so we're going to head out there now, and I'll see you there in a second. All right, so I'm here at the restaurant Mizumi, uh, or you can eat buffet, you know, try it out. This is located in Queens, actually it's farther than Queens, it's in Douglaston, so it's a little bit past Queens. So we're going to check it out right now. So this is Mizumi, which I heard has some good buffet. It's right here. I'm going to check it out and see how it is. There's people eating already in there. Oh, how much? Thirty nine ninety five. Yeah, white. Wow, Dai Doi. We have a big table here. Sit outside. So Mizumi was open in two thousand ten. And back then, it was solely a uh, buffet-style type of uh, restaurant. Um, also cost a lot less back then. But now they have hot pot, which as you can see, it's a combination of hot pot and buffet, which I think is a better deal. And here we have our sauces that we can use. Uh, you can combine it basically uh, for the hot pot. So you basically dip your your food into these sauces after you cook them and there's a lot of variety that you can mix it with peanut sauce that's ponzu this is a ponzu sauce I'm trying to be like that guy Yeah, the talking bush. Some of this. And here are some of the hot food. Here we have uh, some ribs that I'm trying out. 
And the beauty I like about doing all these uh, all you can eat buffet style or hot pot style is that you can get to try out a little bit of everything. So, you know, if you're going with friends or family, some don't like this, some don't like that, going to these restaurants resolves all the problem. Everybody can try their own and uh, be satisfied at the end of the evening. And it looks like a lot of hot food is gone. So hopefully they will replenish before the crowd comes in. Since I'm a little early to dinner today. Some fish. And if you love vegetables, of course, these kind of buffet gives you a lot of vegetables that you can cook in the hot pot. So usually when I go to hot pot, I would love to start with vegetables. Very healthy, also what's the appetite. Eating the uh, hot pot and all this stuff. So the buffet and the hot pot. And here I'll just run through quickly all the uh, different areas of the food that, is, uh, that I didn't show before. So I'm going to go up and down the aisle and uh, you'll see all the different types of uh, food for the hot pot, hot food, the sushi, the cold food. I'll put them all together here. And we also have the beef section here for the hot pot and they do have Wagyu beef which is probably one of the nicer type of beef available for hot pot so that's a plus. And right around this corner is the sushi and sashimi section. Have a nice variety and it tastes pretty good. I was uh, actually very uh, surprised in a buffet restaurant that the uh, sushi actually tastes pretty good. No crab legs that I didn't even try. Forgot all about it. And the thing I like about Mizumi is that it's very roomy. So you don't feel like you're claustrophobic or tight while you eat. A lot of space on this side as opposed to also the other side. Uh, so it's very well organized. And I enjoyed it my visit. I mean, it's a little bit pricey, but it's pretty worth it at the end I mean best thing to do is to have a good meal so if you have a good meal you feel good when you leave so that's about it when you come to a restaurant okay thank you all right take care all right so you have enough you eat enough
All right, we're done with Mizumi. Until next time, for the next adventure. All right, so if you enjoyed that video, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Thank you.